Hello everyone, welcome back. We are on the hunt. We are in Nitro, West Virginia again at Thor Third Floor Comics. This is like a crazy amount of back issues. I mean, as you guys can see, tens of thousands of back issues. Very poor organization, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to badmouth shops, but man, it's just like when you're trying to find specific titles, I mean, some stuff was labeled, some stuff's not. I'm digging, digging, digging. I find like kind of like a dollar-ish book section. End up finding a couple couple books, stick around the end, see what we got. Um, thankfully found like a Fantastic Four run of things that were kind of sequentially numbered. That was nice. There was a couple books that kind of caught my eye. I was like, oh man, there's like a Howard the Duck book, but it was like, it's the Marvel select group or marvel group comics whatever that is it's like reprints and then i found some silver surfer ones of those i was like i got excited and i don't know it was just like it's one of those things it was so overwhelming so many books and when they're not when there isn't like a rhyme or reason and there's no real organization it's just tough so anyway i brought some books in and the first time i'd ever done this but brought a couple short boxes in to do a trade just throwaway books that I really didn't want or need. Thought I'd give them a give them a try. Ended up selling those books for $60 store credit and ended up paying $60 total out of pocket for what we got. So without further ado, let us do the haul. All right, guys. So you saw us digging. We got a few books here. We got a few key issues, specifically this. This is Doctor Strange number 48. This is the first time that Doctor Strange and Brother Voodoo meet. A lot of spec behind this book. Very likely we're going to see Brother Voodoo at some point. Try to get that first appearance if you can. Um, that book's almost going to get out of hand, I think. Next one. We have got Mars Attacks Judge Dredd issue number two in a four issue miniseries, I believe. This cover is absolutely sick. Uh, I love Mars Attacks. That's one of my favorite sci-fi movies. I loved that as a kid. Um, and then we got a Judge Dredd crossover. Super bloody, super gory. Pretty good key issue, too. I, I mean, it's like it's like a $10 book. It's IDW, and I think it's Al Ewing as well. Next one here, we have got Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers. Enough said. Number 49, just a Kang cover. This is a silent issue, so there are no uh, text bubbles. Um, interesting, and a really cool cover. I love that. He's like stabbing a sword through the earth, fire coming out. I love Kang as, Kang as a character. Can't wait to see him in the MCU. Cool issues here. So this is Zatanna by Paul Denny, Dini. Um, and I think there's other authors on this run. This was a 10 or 12 issue miniseries. Can't remember Zatanna stuff. Buy this stuff now because Zatanna is going to get hot when she comes to uh, the, the HBO Max series. They are going to make her a thing. So her first appearance is in Hawkman 4, I believe. Um, Silver Age book. This is, I don't, I, I can't remember if this is her first um, solo series. It may be, but these have some sick covers. Specifically, those issues are like number 12. I think it's like number 10, number 12. Man, those, those issues are sick. This is a awesome cover. So she's like at a casino with the slot machines in the background. And then there's like old grannies like coming after her. It's the Royal Flush Gang. This is number four. These came out back in 2010, 2011. This is issue number five, Zombie Love. So I'm assuming we are a in a zombie casino. That's a great cover. This is a good one too. Got Zatanna number seven. This is like a sick uh, traditional tattoo. Yep, it was 2010, 2011. Um, 
And then we have a writer change, Adam Beechin. Very nice. Shadows of the Past are haunting Zatanna. And then this is the last one of those that I found. Great white cover. Zatanna number nine. Beautiful cover. Love it. So as far as condition on those, I would say they're near mint minus. Maybe like a 9092 in that range. This is Fantastic Four number 243. This is a key classic cover, newsstand. This is back from the early 80s. Got the classic Galactus cover. And this is just me filling my run, guys. This is me just piecing the run together. Um, this is a huge, deep indention there and there. I don't think that can press out. Maybe. You may be able to press that out. I don't know. But uh, that's a nice book. Then we've got Fantastic Four 277 newsstand. I believe that's a key as well. I uh, think Nathaniel Richards fights uh, Mephisto. That might be the death of Mephisto. It's a great cover. We've got... Fantastic Four 303, direct. Fantastic Four 307. This is when it, this is like late 80s, like 87. Some of these are like super clean. So we got Miss Marvel in this issue and a duel with Diablo. El Diablo. And we got Fantastic Four 308, introducing the strangest new villain of the year. Fasoud? Fasoud? Thing is eating cheese dunkles. <laughs> then we've got 309, the spanking new FF face to face with Fasoud in a newsstand. 310, newsstand. And man, guys, I am so close. I'm like, I am piecing this run together, man. I, I think I've got like 250 issues, maybe 260 of the 415-ish Fantastic Four Volume 1 issues. Got a black cover here. The centerfold is detached in that one. I spent $2 on every single one of these Fantastic Four books. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. 313, Torch Goes Wild. New stand. This is a real clean one. This is from the pages of the X-Men, Velasco. Enough said. Three fifteen, Menace is the is Master Pandemonium. We got 316. Direct. 320. We got the Gray Hulk and the Shadow of Doom. Thing versus Hulk. This is not a key, surprisingly. I love these Doctor Doom covers. This one's like, that's like a near mint. Probably near mint minus. See Human Torch alone against the crushing power of Gravitron. Graviton. That's a nice one. These books are not rare, per se, but and they can be found in, like, high grade. I don't know. I mean, I guess just because Fantastic Four hasn't hit like that as far as since the comic book boom. But, man, I mean, if it were me, I would be buying these issues now because, <laughs> dude, when Fantastic Four shows up, it's over. Mantis Must Die and featuring King the Conqueror. Because you know that's what that's what the battles are going to be. I mean, it's going to be... Reed Richards is going to have to solve the problem of Kang. Like, and the X-Men are going to have to be involved. I mean, I, I got goosebumps just thinking about it. We got 326 direct. Uh, this is... The new evil Fantastic Four, the Frightful Four. 
I still got to get that first Agatha Harkness. That book is going to get crazy. It's already crazy. Uh, 327. Oh, this is when the thing, um, when Ben Grimm goes back to human form. Ben Grimm, the Frightful Four. See, there's Ben Grimm on the cover there in human form, right? Yeah. 329, for no mercy for the Mole Man. Mole Man, one of the oldest Fantastic Four villains. New stand. Then we got 331. It's a dream. It's a hoax. It's an imaginary story. And it's also Ultron. This is like when it gets lazy. It's like Fantastic Four in final combat with their evil counterparts in the startling conclusion of the Dream Quest saga. Whenever they're like fighting themselves, I hate that when they do that in movies. It's 333. It's like they got no idea for villains. We got 334. Alone against the deadliest villains in the universe. You're kidding, right? I love the thing. <laughs> the thing's awesome. <laughs> Bunch of Fantastic Four guys. I wasn't kidding. Number 335, alone against the most powerful villains in the universe. Acts of Vengeance tie-ins. Alone against the most fearsome villains in the universe. you got to be kidding me, right? 336. We got 330, 341. 342. The Human Torch and X-Factors, Rusty Collins versus The Mysterious Seekers. And we got a Spider-Man cameo. That's a high-grade book right there. 345. Three fifty-six. That bag's a little wavy. The book's not wavy like that. War with the New Warriors. This is the first appearance of the Devastator back in 91. Yancey Street, Fantastic Four of 361. Face the menace of Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom loves like peering over the the skyline and like looking down. <laughs> That's his go-to move. Miracle on Yancey Street at Christmas time. Behold the awesome power of Oculus, the om omnipotent, omnipotent, and die. Omnipotent. Fantasy Four, it's clobbering time. Classic. Last, certainly not least, 366, Evil Reed Richards. Love that. Guys, what do you think about this haul? Paid $60 total for this and then i traded in a bunch of like duplicate um new books that i didn't think were worth very much i think it did pretty good if at any point in time you like this video give it the thumbs up and if you like this video subscribe for more thank you guys for watching take care